What's up, folks? So, here, downtown Austin. Here, lake. Let me see if I can show you guys around real quick, actually. Yeah, let's go on a little tour. I just did a circle. It's part of my yearly forecast to show you guys around town. I'm looking like I just got a pump. It's because it's worked out on this outdoor gym. It consists of wide grip pull-ups, closed grip pull-ups, curls, uh, windshield wipers for your core. You grab the pull-up bar, you lift your back up, and you go like this with your legs. Whip's looking good. What's up? Well, a little dirty because of rain, but still all right. Who knows what's gonna happen to my Bluetooth as soon as I turn the car on, so bear with me now, bear with me. You're going out the sunroof. It's gonna get windy, but that's okay because we're here to sightsee. There's a boat. I hosted a client party on there one time. There's the boat. It drives around, you catch the sunset. And then up here, Oh, there's Link. Yup. And here's a little gem over there. You probably can't even see it, that's okay. And then that huge park is called Auditorium Shores. And it is awesome because there's like a hundred dogs every time you go, any day of the week. I tell you what, I feel great because it's 68 degrees outside, sun is shining, people are happy. It was so cool. Some families were coming out. This one little girl was like, I want to do pull-ups. It was so funny. So then her dad, they thought about it amongst themselves and like, I don't know, maybe. And then they came over and uh, they started doing pull-ups with the little girl. It was so awesome. She was super pumped. South by Southwest is over today. Last concert, I hear it. They're jamming out downtown. Tomorrow, awesome work day ahead. You know what, every day's a work day in real estate though. Let's not kid ourselves. I tell you what, if I went a one day without doing something work related, that would be weird because there's always something, 1000%. Always something to learn, always something to do. And that's all right. That's all right. I wouldn't have it any other way because real estate has changed my life. And I'm grateful. Let's keep cruising around here, shall we? What's that? Teresa Lozano, <laughs> Long Center for the Performing Arts. That's gotta be, and that wasn't even the full name. There's probably more to it. I couldn't read it. Look at that, there's a new Google building right there. They call it the Sail Shade. What? It's awesome. There's a library over there with that rooftop deck. Favorite golf course of all time, Butler Pitch and Putt. Butler Pitch and Putt. It is sick. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to say it. I am going to say it. Palm Springs, where's your gyms at? I'm going out there on Tuesday and there's no gyms. Well, yeah, there's a couple of them, but no goals gyms, no lifetime fitness. It's like, dude, where am I supposed to work out? In Palm Springs. The hotel gym's weak sauce. It looks like it's built in 1985 and there's the weights go up to like 50 pounds. Oh, there's a doggy. There's a dude. Railroad. What is this? Rollerblade action. What in the world? There's the golf course. Nine holes, pitchers, pitching wedges and putters only. Look at it. They're literally right next to the road on the tee box. How cool is that? That's why the city's so cool. And there's downtown, like right there. It's so sick. If you guys don't like that, psh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna give Jonathan a call, see if he wants to grab something to eat. If he does, you know I'm gonna film him. Cause it's part of who I am. I'm a vlogger. There's no way around it. It's something I'm called to do. I'm called to lift weights, get that pump, I'm called to eat right, I'm called to do videos like this have a good old time let's go all right jonathan was busy 
So instead, I went to my favorite spot. Wow. Anyways, let me show you what I got going on. Juice Land. Talk about restaurant reviews. See, the other day's restaurant review, I don't even know if we can count that. I don't even know if we can call it a restaurant. It's more like a sandwich shop. Now, if that ain't a question to ask yourself, is a sandwich shop a restaurant? <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you what I do know. This right here, my dude, delicious. Juice Land. Mm. Organic. Strawberries. Crunchy. Banana. Protein. This Juice Land's awesome. It's right close to downtown. You know what I'm doing next? You know, we're creatures of habit. I'm going to go look at some cars because I love looking at cars. Who's got an Audi R8 in town for sale? I want to see one. It's motiv motivation. Juice Land. The owner, he was working right down the street at Barton Springs Pool. Spring fed pool. Year round, 58 degrees or something like that. And he worked at the local juice shop that was kind of weak sauce apparently. He said, you know what, I'm going to make my own juice shop. Now he's got locations all around. At the airport, North Austin, South, East, West, everywhere. I'll tell you what, it's the go-to. You want fast food? This is the fast food to get. Wow. Wow. I got so much energy after that workout. I was tired all day. Just a sleepy dude. All of a sudden, get outside, get some nature, get some people. Fresh air, working out, running, boom. Woo. Hopefully there's daylight left when I get to the car dealership. And show you guys some sweet rides. If you like cars, please let me know what your favorite car is. Let's go car spotting one day. I love car spotting. It's so much fun. Hit me up. All right, all right. The V8. Dude, I got mixed feelings about these too. I feel like you got to get a certain model, certain year. The new ones look way better than this year. And, I mean... It's tough. Like, when you see a Brabus edition of that, it's a no-brainer. No but that, I don't know, it just doesn't really speak to me. Okay. Sport. Sport. Range. New range. Talk about rare. This puppy right here. How much is this dinger? Buck 80. A buck 80. I bet that thing smells amazing inside. You see that though? You could drive that. You could drive this thing cross country. You wouldn't even feel it. You'd just be like on a cloud. Because that's what these are. They're clouds. The Velars too. Even the little tiny ones. The Range Rover Velars. They feel like you're, you're on a just poof. Now that thing is dope. You're trying to get tough guy look? That right there. If you want to be a macho man... <laughs> Matt finished. What's up? What do we got over here? Yeah, you see these rims? Like, what? They're not even trying. They're not even trying. Why would they do that? Who's buying that? There you go. At least we got some black rims. It looks okay. Oh, then we got the. Oh! F type. Three beauties. Dude, they nailed it. I mean, they made subtle changes to this model, and it works. What color would you get? Black, white, or silver? I mean, that white is crispy. Nice. That white's a head turner. Gosh. What else you got in there? What is that? Is that like a... That's a sport model or something. That's an F, uh, F type sport model. Uh, oh, and there's the, there's the rip and roaring F type. The 400 dynamic R or whatever. That thing, ugh, V8, a uh, Lincoln? They got a Lincoln? Yeah, I mean, okay. They need some more Range Rover Sports up in here, though. The new Range Rover Sports. I don't think I've seen one. I don't think I've seen one Range Rover Sport. Oh, here you go. There's a nice little Evoke, the new Evokes. Those are cool. Starter, a starter car. Those gotta go. Those rim gems gotta go. <laughs> yeah. You know what's whack? How the interior on that car is basically the same as that one. I don't know. What, who, how do you pick? I don't know. This looks way better. It's not even funny. It just makes me wonder, like, are they doing that for marketing purposes? Or is there people buying those? <laughs> All right. On to the next. Let's go. Oh, 
Couldn't help myself. What are these? Are these e paces? No. F paces. Oh. They look short. Compared to my car, they look short. I think it's simply because the rims are smaller. I don't know, they look different, even though it's the same car. And then we got the rare, elusive eye pace. This thing was ranked highly in some categories, which I just don't know. You know, I like how, I just like the way Jaguar does it. I never thought I'd be a Jaguar guy. 48,000, 2020 construction, 19,000 miles. It's not bad, because this thing is sick. This thing probably handles so great, electric. What is this, six? Yeah, A6, tinted, blacked out. Eh. This is kind of cool-ish. I mean, if you're gonna go Cayenne, you gotta get, you gotta get the good stuff. You gotta go GTS or something. I just turned my Bluetooth off. That's probably the best idea I had today. Can't tell you how many times it gets uh, cut off when I'm getting in my car and all that. All right, let's switch it around. 